Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at StampAbove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. I'm going to get myself going here on my iPad so I can see all your wonderful comments coming in. Holy cow, the numbers are stacking up. You guys are coming in like wildfire. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here tonight. I can't even tell you. Whoops. But I can tell you that I'm still fumbling with the iPad. I'm getting better. Thank you, Sarah Simon. Happy New Year to you too. I am, whoops, it's not doing its thing. So let me see, how do I go about, I'll do that. And then I'll do this. And then there it is, yay! Okay, so I turned my volume down. I should be good there. Hi, Haley. Hi, Heather. I'm happy to see you here tonight. We've got Sharon. Okay, let me get my, there we go. Comments on the iPad. I am winning. Happy 2021 to all of my peeps. Oh my gosh, 2021. It's got to be so much better, doesn't it? I'm so looking forward to this year and just um, getting away from 2020. It's been kind of a nightmare, right? I know for a lot of you, it has been worse than a nightmare. And for some of us, it's been, oh gosh, for all of us, it's been rather exhausting, right? <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. I'm super excited about a new year and something new to look forward to. I am going to be making some changes in 2021 and don't panic. It's all good changes. I'm not going any place. I love my job, but I'm going to be adding some things and we're going to be like sprucing some things up and I'm excited about it. And you know, I really like almost went through withdrawal, not seeing you guys since I think December 20th was the last time I was live. My intention last week between Christmas and New Year's was to go on and do a live every day with just one project from our sneak peeks from the upcoming January to June mini catalog and also celebration. And I was really excited about that. But guess what? You didn't miss it because it didn't happen. Um, I kind of over obligated myself to a lot of swapping. And there's some other things coming up too. But I just really felt like I couldn't put one more thing on my plate until I met my obligations. And um, I, I still haven't met them, <laughs> but I'm really, really close. I think I've only got a couple more swaps that I need to design and um, get ready. Uh, there's a stamping event next weekend in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm super excited to be going to this. I'm a guest presenter. It is a stamping event for other demonstrators, so it's going to be super exciting. Um, my bestie, Dina, is going to be there. We're going to be tag teaming some business training together for all of the attendees, so I'm really excited about that because we went to this event last year, and it was amazing. So if you ever want to get involved in some of these um, fantastic little events that I get to go to, all you have to do is join my team. And if you don't want to be a demonstrator and do what I do, you don't have to. You can do it for the discount, but you still can be involved in all the stamping events. We don't discriminate. <laughs> so it doesn't matter whether you're black or white or Asian or you're going to do this for a hobby or a discount or you want to make a business. It's all the same. And... Um, I know there's a lot of people who do their girls week vacation or their girls weekend away and this could be something like that if you're not interested in a business, which is fine. And just know if you join my team, I will never ever push you to do more than you want to do. It's just that simple. So, oh, I see Barbara coming in and Cindy and Debbie. Welcome everybody. Diana is here. So, Packers won today. Woohoo! Go into the playoffs. At least I think that's what's happening. They beat the Bears. Sorry, Bear fans. Um, my granddaughter, Andy, and her dad and their whole family are huge Bears fans. And so the Bears playing the Packers. Um, and for those of you that aren't familiar, these are professional football teams in the United States. 
And um, the Bears played the Packers today, huge rivalry, and they did beat them, and I was glad. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. I know Elaine's a big Packer fan. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> so, I wanted to let you guys know you should, I believe, have your mini catalogs if they're going to arrive. Now, some of them, the mail is really jacked up right now, right? Um, there's a lot of places, like Michigan is horrible. They're not getting their mail for two weeks. It's just insane. But, and, and I mean, it's two weeks late, not that they haven't gotten mail for the last two weeks. I don't want anybody to panic about that. But it's just been really bad. Everybody should have their mini catalog. If you have placed an order with me, I think I did in the last year, you should have this mini catalog. And then you should have also gotten this celebration brochure. Now, I know these are backwards because, you know, my screen isn't mirrored. But if you don't have these yet and you have placed an order with me in the last year, you need to email me, not leave a comment here. There's going to be thousands of comments here. That's not where I'm going to be looking. It would take me hours to sort through that. But if you email me at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com, I will mail you the catalogs if you have not received them. I have been getting emails um, all day from people who got the, the mini catalog but didn't receive the celebration, and people who got the celebration but didn't receive the mini catalog, and people who didn't get either one. So let me know. I will get those in the mail to you right away. I've got a little pile going over here of outgoing catalogs tomorrow. So, and if you're new um, and you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would be happy to send you these catalogs and you will not regret giving me your address for that email um, because they're fantastic. So, yeah. Um, Jerry says Christmas packages mailed on December 12th still have not arrived at their destination. I know it is completely insane right now, right? Um, my son-in-law, Jared is a mailman and, um, he would worked, we had our, uh, our other side of the family Christmas last night and he worked until six o'clock. So he's working from seven 30 in the morning till six o'clock at night. And he usually gets done around four 30. So it's crazy right now. So and Kathy said she's a Packer owner. You go, Kathy. Yay, yay, you. So anyways, if you need mini catalogs, please let me know. Um, what else is happening? Oh, I wanted to ask you guys. So we have these new beauties, right? And I am going to be sitting down and figuring out my online classes and my kit class. I do two classes a month, remember. One is a kit. The other one is an online class that, yeah, there's several different ways you can get it. But what do you guys want to see classes with out of the new mini catalog? Because I really do like to concentrate in here. So if you want to um, email me, same thing, kelly at stampabove.com. Um, email me and let me know. Otherwise, I'll try to watch for comments coming up here. But um, I haven't planned my classes yet. I'm going to get that done real quick, though. So let me know what you would like. What else is happening? Oh, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? So I'm not a real big New Year's resolution person, but I have to tell you one funny thing. My friend Barb has a long-standing New Year's resolution, and she renews it every year to keep her mouth shut. <laughs> you know, when you really want to say something to somebody or about something they did, or she's just like, zip it. And I think that's a really good resolution, right? I know you guys are all laughing. <laughs> I completely agree. It's pretty funny. But I came up with my own New Year's resolution. I'm not big on resolutions. But I think what I would like to do is be a more thoughtful person in 2021. And what I mean by that is you know the people. You guys are, some of you guys are those people, those really thoughtful people. You know the people that show up at the little um, barbecue and they bring the hostess a gift. Um, the people who you're going on a little weekend trip and they bring, you know, um, snacks native to their area for everybody to share. Like I'm not that person. It just, I don't know. I, I just, I don't think of it. And then when I get there, I think, wow, that was really nice. I wish I would have done something like that. Right? Like how many of you guys feel that way? It's, um, it's crazy that I can't think of that ahead of time. So 
my New Year's resolution is to be more thoughtful, a more thoughtful person. And so I started today. And what I did is um, we get together with Steve's high school buddies, two of them, all three of these guys, Steve and the two friends have birthdays, or I mean, yeah, birthdays in January. So every year we go out to eat with them. And sometimes that's the only time we see them is once a year. So we go out to eat with them and I always make cards and Steve will stop and get some scratch off lottery tickets and they all kind of exchange, you know, little silly things like that. Well, I went and ordered them t-shirts. Vicki, if you're watching, don't tell Vinny. So I ordered t-shirts that say they're all going to be 60 this year, vintage 60. And they're really cool t-shirts. I ordered t-shirts for all of them. And then I ordered these sun visors that have gray hair growing out of the top <laughs> for all of them. <laughs> it's going to be so funny. And I know Steve's going to have a hoot with it, right? And speaking of Steve, Steve is doing well. He had a very nice Christmas. And um, I just wrote down something he said because I can never remember. So in our house, we watch a lot of murder, you know, like the ID channel, investigative detectives or whatever it stands for. We watch a lot of murder. And um, today, when I was downstairs filling out my drink, by the way, yeah, mm-hmm. Steve says, as the commercial is playing from one of the shows that is on there all the time, that should be my show, meaning my show. No, his show. He said, he said to me, that should be my show. Evil lives here. <laughs> like, what did I do to deserve that? <laughs> but it was pretty funny. So I wanted to give you guys a John update. John had from across the driveway what looked like a very nice Christmas. Um, John's daughter that lives about four hours away, at least I think she still lives there, I don't really even know. Um, but she came to visit with her kids and I'm not sure how many she has, I just know she has some. I didn't see her arrive, I never saw her go any place and I didn't see her leave. Um, Steve didn't see John for several days and so he made a comment one day that he thought John's wife had him tied up. He could see him tied up in the upstairs room. It didn't happen. He was just being silly. So, anyways, that's my John update. Not much happening there. Um, it's been pretty quiet on the John front. <laughs> I know, right? Everybody's like, whoa, doing the wow, wow thing. So, um, yeah, nothing going on with John. What else is happening here? Um, oh, I know. So, beyond not... Beyond having so many obligations last week that I could, I wanted to do a Facebook Live every day, but it didn't happen. Like, it didn't happen at all. But um, I think I found out, remember you guys, last time I was on, I was telling you that I was super duper tired that I would, like, I'd eat and I'd come up here and about, I don't know, an hour later, I would be so tired. I'd be yawning. I could put my head down on my desk and just go right to sleep. Like, boom, I could be out. <laughs> Somebody just asked what I gave John for Christmas. Same thing he gave me. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm not being a more thoughtful person, am I? That was kind of snarky, wasn't it? <laughs> I didn't get him anything. <laughs> I live next door to him. That's present enough. Oh. <laughs> Snap. So anyways, um, super, super duper tired. And I just really had a hard time last week being motivated and... That's very, very unlike me. You guys know that I'm really high energy and I like to get a lot done and I'm always doing something. I don't sit around and do nothing, but I did a lot, you know, some last week. But I quit taking, I ran out of these vitamins and I think they were vitamin D. Is it vitamin D12? Is that a thing that you're supposed to take in the wintertime, especially if you live someplace that there's no sun in the winter? Are you a creeper, Patty asked? A little bit. Um... So anyways, I ran out of that vitamin and I just didn't get any more. And then I was talking to my stepdaughter, Anna, and I told her, I'm like, yeah, I ran out of that D vitamin thing. And she's like, Kelly, you need to be taking those in the winter. Like, it's really important. You're not getting any sunshine. And I'm like, kind of hooking things together. I'm like, is that why I would be so tired if I like just quit taking all these vitamins? So then I went to the pharmacy because I had to get my second shingle shot. My doctor told me get the shingle shot because that's next on your list of crappy stuff to happen to you after COVID. <laughs> it's 
So I was right there. Flew, boom. She goes, whoop, got it. So I went and got my second one um, Saturday and I asked the pharmacist, I'm like, could that be why I'm so tired? He's like, well, D3, there you go. Thanks, you guys. Thanks all my people that know all these things. A vitamin D3. And I said, Is, could that be why I'm so tired? He's like, well, it could be. How much were you taking? <laughs> well, I buy 5,000 IUs. I don't know what the measurement is, but 5,000, right? And um, I was taking two a day. <laughs> and somebody told me, oh, you guys, you know what? I think it was B12. <laughs> I don't even know what I take, but I got some more of them. And um, anyways, I was taking 10,000 of those a day. And then suddenly I was taking none. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to kill myself with vitamins. <laughs> He's like, you shouldn't take that many. <laughs> like, well, I don't know. Somebody told me and I started taking them. So anyways, <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> Just by, you know, by the grace of God, I have lived through the vitamin overdose. <laughs> So I'm only taking one a day now. But I told Steve he needs to take more. He was only taking like, I said, are you taking these? Because he ha he gets crabby in the winter. Like, like get out of my house crabby. That kind of crabby. And I asked him if he was taking them. He's only taking like, I don't know, 100, whatever the measurement is. And I'm like, no. No, 1,000. 1,000. Because I said, you need to take five of those a day. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Anyways. <laughs> I've got things to give away. So, oh, thank you. Rosemary says my craft room looks great. Do you guys want to see it? Do you want, I can get up and um, move you around a little bit. I'm not, I'm not ready yet. So I'll give you like a real formal tour when I have everything ready to roll. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm, I don't know if I can because my phone just said it's low. Uh, maybe I'll give you a tour when we're done stamping. How about that? Okay, because I got to plug in my phone to get some charge. Take 10,000 C. Betty just said to take 10,000 D3 a day. Is that what I was taking or B12? I don't know. It's the one for sun. So I'll show you guys around um, when my phone charges a little bit. Right now, I am going to do the prizes. I'm excited to give away prizes. I'm really excited to be here with you guys. So thanks for tuning in. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Somebody just said there really is a lethal dose of that vitamin C, I could have like, I'm dangerous to myself because I don't know things. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Okay, you guys, I promise that I will not take anything else without consulting somebody that knows things. Oh, let's see, what did she just say? Shingles are not fun. I had them a few weeks ago. Yeah, so I got the second booster. Don't worry. I know that's what my doctor said that shingles have been uh, kind of one of the things as a side effect from COVID that like they're seeing a lot of people more than normal get shingles after they've had COVID. So she, when she told me that, cause I said, this was a long time ago, like a month or two ago, I said, should I get the flu shot? And she's like, yeah, you need to go get the flu shot and you need the shingle shot. And I ran right to the pharmacy, like right now and got it. So, okay, okay hang on, my messages aren't coming through. <laughs> okay, so prizes, back to prizes. Squirrel, um, I have the Dandelions 3D embossing folder to give away. This is such a pretty embossing folder. I absolutely love this. It's like such a subtle thing, but it can make your whole card. So um, our winner for commenting last time I was on was Jean Shute of North Dakota. Jean, congratulations for commenting. You're going to have this coming your way in the mail. Yay, I love prizes. Don't forget you guys, the other way that you can win prizes is by sharing this. Um, hang on, I just read something else about the vitamins. Take 10,000 vitamin D3 a day unless my levels are low. I also take B12 injections once a week. Okay, and Julie lives in Michigan. Yeah, where they don't get sun either. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Julie. Um, another way to win is by sharing my Facebook Live. And you can click on that share button right now while you're watching. You, there's a share button someplace. If you touch your screen, it's going to pop up, maybe. Click on that share button and share that to your timeline. You never know who might need a little pick-me-up or who is just crafty, but maybe you didn't know they were crafty. And they might want to um, watch along with us, right? Hi, Barbara. 
I'm happy to see you. And Susan Reed, I see you're on here. Okay, next prize. Feels like frost. <laughs> I said feels like spring. It doesn't feel like spring at all. It's, we got snow and it's cold. <laughs> no spring. Feels like frost designer series paper. I have a whole pack of this six by six beautiful paper going out to... Heather Kohler, and I know Heather's watching tonight. Heather is from Menasha, Wisconsin. Heather, I will drop this in the mail for you tomorrow. Okay, unless you want to pick it up, let me know. Pop me an email or a text me if you want to pick it up because I can certainly put it outside on my porch and you can grab it anytime. So, next up, you also can win for placing an order with me. So, I go back through and I put all the names for the people who have ordered from me since the last Facebook Live into a drawing and my winner is Sheila Crutchfield from Texas. She's going to get this gallery grunge stamp set. Now I have to tell you Sheila this was donated to me by someone and it has never been used but it has been put together already so I just want to let you know that it is brand new. I think somebody ordered it by mistake they ordered two of them and didn't realize it. So hi Nancy Taylor and Deb Sedlinger. Um, so this is going to be in the mail to you, Sheila, tomorrow for placing an order. So, yay. What did I do with the other stuff? It's right here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, also a little something, a little extra special. I have, oh, I don't know if I want to do this or not. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not going to do that. We'll save that for another time. Okay. We've got all of our prizes done. I've been keeping everything in a little notebook. I'm also trying to be a little more organized this year. So I have a planner so I can write everything in my planner because I have a whole bunch of notebooks and I'll write something and then I'll, I'll be someplace else and I'll write something in this notebook and then I bring them all in here and I don't know where they are and I, don't, I can't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Do you find that shocking? Not so much, right? <laughs> okay, do you think that we're charged enough that I can give you a little tour? I will give you a little tour. Hang on. I'm going to unplug and hope I don't hit anything. All right, here we go, guys. Tour. Oh, Louise shared from Puerto Rico. Thank you, Louise. Okay, so behind me, remember this? This used to be um, behind me in my old office. I've got this three drawer filing cabinet. I love it. I haven't decided if this is where it's going to stay, but that's all my paper. Well, there's more in the next drawer. And then the bottom drawer is actually empty. And then, hang on. I've got this drawer thing. I just turned this sideways tonight because I felt too crunched and I, I didn't like it. So I turned it sideways and that's probably not going to stay there either. You can see my floor is pretty clean. Like, this is pretty clean. Here is my um, big boss and my baby boss. So I've got both of my machines right there. Oh, i got to show you this, too. This is a present I got from the kids yesterday. And holy cow, it, like, made me tear up. And here's my, um, all of this is Ikea. And there's, I got, see, I got some of this stuff cleaned off. I just got a new clock, you guys. I needed a clock in here because I never know what time it is. So I just got a new clock. And then Haley got me this candle from Bath and Body for Christmas. Isn't that pretty? Look at how cute that is. Yeah, they have all these little stands. Whoops, let's see if I can turn it around for their candles. So I got that in here. And I showed you guys Val's Christmas card or Haley's Christmas card. Look at how cute she is. She's sitting naked by the tree. Her little butt's hanging out, but, you know, it's blurred up in the picture. We don't want any baby porn going on. Okay, so really exciting. This is a six by six paper holder. Oops, I got that from Stampin' Storage, and it says my battery's low again, so um, we might have to end this. I also got a 12 by 12 paper storage right here, and I haven't done anything with it. And I'm keeping a lot of my papers down here, okay, and my um, that's all my dies and uh, embossing folders. Okay, so I'm just gonna come over here. I hope nobody gets sick. So this is my space that I'm working in. We have not decorated yet because that over there is gonna change. I think I'm gonna get rid of this big desk and I'm gonna do a desk over there that comes down here and then has a piece that comes out like this. 
that's what Haley is telling me is going to work, and I trust her judgment. Okay, over here, we went shopping, and this is all the stuff that we bought to decorate my office so far. Yeah, so we got to get all of this up. And then, of course, here's my giant um, paper cutter. And I'm just going to walk over here so I can kind of give you a, a view of what's happening here. And then we've got more Ikea over here. And I've just been organizing, putting stuff away, and just trying to get my life back together, which has been uh, kind of a big deal to do that. Like, I should have... I still had all these obligations. Like, even though you guys didn't see me, I wasn't off work, okay? So I was still working my hiney off. Don't worry, it's still here. About 10 extra pounds of it, too. So <laughs> I need to get rid of that. But um, I should have taken time off because I didn't take any time off to for the transition to move back in here. So that was crazy and insane. Did I show you guys the... Oh, I'll show it to you when I get this all done. Whew, having a hot flash now. <laughs> I was afraid my phone was going to turn off. I think that's what started it. But anywho, um, yeah, and I decided that my lighting isn't good. I don't know what's going on. But you see it makes all the dots on my glasses. And wait till I turn these on. I need these on so you guys can see what I'm doing when I start stamping. And now we've got more lights and little spots and all the things. So I got in touch with Fred. He's my handyman that did my remodeling and I asked him what kind of bulbs he put in here and how many lumens they have because they're not watts anymore. They're lumens. And um, I'm waiting to hear back from him. I think he messaged me but I haven't looked at it because I was busy trying to get ready for you guys tonight. And I am excited to be stamping with you. Now I'll show you what I did today because things didn't go as well as I planned <laughs> that they would go. And you know when you do a video, you cut out all the crap, right? So you cut out all the bad parts and the mistakes and all the weirdness and all that. But when you're, when you're um, designing, things don't always go right. So I'll show you the things that didn't go well so you don't repeat them. But first, what I want to do is show you guys all of these beautiful little things. So I got this whole set that I don't know if we're gonna put it all on a whole wall or what we're gonna do, but this says grandkids make life grand. Okay, isn't that pretty? This is from all my kids. So now you guys know that I have, um, Steve was married before me. I know, shocking, right? Anyways, Steve was married before me and he had three kids. And then um, he got divorced and then we started dating not any overlap there. I just want to make that perfectly clear. <laughs> and then um, we had Haley. So Haley is um, the only kid that I ha have given birth to. <laughs> it's a good way to put it. But all my stepkids have kids. And so I'm going to show you this because this is just the coolest thing. Okay, so I need to find this one. So it starts right here. And this is W and E. To spell we. And now the really cool thing about this and I picked out these frames is I'm doing, uh, what do they call that decoration? Um, farmhouse. That's my style. And so this is like galvanized steel, right? Or whatever you want to call that. But it's metal. So that goes along with all the cool stuff that's going to be decorating my house. So we've got W-E. This is Alex and this is Aldo. And these are Steve's son's two kids. So we've got we, and then we've got Stephanie's kids. So this is her oldest, AJ, and he's got an L. And then, hang on, I'm gonna set these over here so I don't. Here is Owen, and he's got an O. Now Stephanie, um, her boyfriend has two kids, so this is one of his kids. So this is Owen, he's adorable and just a sweetheart. And here is Porter. This is Stephanie's other son, Porter. Yay, look at how big these kids are. For some of you that have watched these kids grow up over the last few years, you are like, whoa, when did they get so big? This is Trey, and he's got the E. So we've got we, W-E, and then L-O-V-E, we love. And then this is Anna's girls and little Val, Haley's baby. We love you. So we've got Y-O-U. Where's the U? Oh, right here. 
And isn't this sweet? So they coordinated all of this and Stephanie got some letters and sent them to Stephen who lives south of Madison to take pictures with his two kids with the letters. And then everybody got the letters and took pictures and they put this all together. And I literally, they say that I have a heart of stone because like I never cry. <laughs> I don't know what they mean. I am very sentimental, <laughs> but I do try to hold it together. <laughs> <laughs> pretty well but um I did I had like tears were running down my face and I'm like oh my gosh my eyes keep leaking I don't know what's going on <laughs> it was so and I'm getting kind of like oh again I don't know what it is about this but it just um it just keeps me under. I just absolutely love it so that was my Christmas that was my big Christmas present so hang on careful I can't just throw these back in here so somehow we're gonna put all of these together whether we do it on a wall or set it someplace on some shelves with this little sign and I absolutely adore the whole thing it was like the sweetest kindest little gesture ever right okay all right I'm done yicky yacking um yeah I've had some people who have it's so cute because they'll email me and they'll say yeah, my husband came in and he's like, wow, isn't she supposed to be stamping? How come she's still talking? <laughs> and, and she was like, you just never mind. We like to hear about Kelly's life. Bless your hearts. It's so funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an adventure, right? What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, my Lord. I am sweating. Now I'm sweating. Holy cow. Hang on. I got this. This is my newest notebook that I started writing. This is my to-do list. It says, I want to punch people in the face. <laughs> no, people I want to punch in the face. This is the, <laughs> this is given to me as a gift by one of those thoughtful people that I want to be more like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm getting everything out now. So I embarked on this really cool little project for you guys today. That was my my big goal today and honestly I'm gonna take several of these so I have several different it was gonna be the same project but with different stamp sets and different dies so that you had several different ideas. Well as I've told you things don't always go as you think they will and today was one of those days. So while I do have a fantastic project to share with you and I have two different colors of this project to share with you I do not have several with many different stamp sets and dies. It just happens, right? <laughs> There's like not much you can do about it when things go south fast. And that's what happened today. I just really struggled. I had a hard time trying to um, figure out the dimensions of this thing that I wanted to make. And a lot of times I'll just find something online and then I'll just make it with a different stamp set or whatever. But today I actually had to redesign a whole thing with all the measurements had to change and I didn't anticipate that. So, I got it, don't worry. I think you're gonna love it. <laughs> but it was pretty like, oh my Lord. So pretty soon I'm like running downstairs to get the door prizes because I'm gonna be live in 15 minutes and I just packed up my bin and yeah, so. It is what it is, right? You're gonna love this, it's really super cute. Okay, so we're going to turn the camera around. If you get motion sickness, you should have been throwing up by now from the tour of my room, right? <laughs> I hope you've rinsed your mouth and wiped it off and we're ready to go. <laughs> um, somebody just asked if those were wood letters. I, I don't think so. They were all different things. One was a picture of a letter. Let me look. I don't really know. Yeah, one of them. Well, this one, this one right here. Like it's a piece of shield. Um, this one over here is a picture, framed picture with a letter E on it, painted on it. So they're all different. I, I don't think that it really matters what you use. Um, here's a black letter. Okay. It's a really good question though. And then this. I think this looks like wood because it looks a little thicker. Wood painted white with some, um, eh, whatever you call that, etching. 
drilled out, which is not what it's called, but I can't think. Uh, let's see the other one. Here we go. This is, just looks like a raw wood E that you would pick up at Hobby Lobby and paint. And then this one looks like a gold V. So they're all just different. Everything's different. And I love it because it's kind of eclectic, right? And, and note the frames, the metal again, it looks like galvanized steel. And I abs, well, I don't know if galvanized is the right word, but whatever, you know, the steel that is all about the farmhouse style. So, yay. okay, now I'm going to turn the phone around. So close your eyes if you get sick or if you already threw up, you should be good to go. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, guys, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I hit cancel. I, well, I hit end at first, and then I hit cancel, and that didn't work. And it actually canceled it anyways. And I see you guys coming back in. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I touched something on my phone, and it said you're, I was ending my Facebook Live, and I said, cancel that, and it still ended it. So I don't know what happened. Anyways, par for the course. Today has not gone. <laughs> As well as it should have it's okay we're doing fine yeah thanks thanks Debbie <laughs> you know how things happen right gotta just roll with it so I am going to be using the kangaroo and company today and this is just an adorable stamp set it's got a bunch of different sentiments in it and wait till you sh I show you the cute little thing this is a, got a real cute little thing with it but We've got just a general greeting. We've got a thanks. It's your day. Love you much. Hello. Just a note. Just for you. Hello, baby. And then all of these little elements with the kangaroo. There's even a heart and a butterfly and an envelope. Just a really, really cute little stamp set. So we've got that and then the dies. These are the kangaroo dies. And of course, you can buy this as a bundle and save 10%. We're going to be using the dies also. Now, if this stamp set is not your thing, um, I get it. A lot of people like these cute stamp sets, and I obviously do because I bought it, but cute isn't always for everybody. Um, you'll love the card regardless of the stamp set that I'm going to use because it is a fun fold. It's a little, um, a little treat favor fun fold card, so I think you're going to really like it. And it can be incorporated into just about any, anything. You could use it with any paper, with any um, stamp set, with any dies, punches, whatever. But I think you're really going to like it. Okay. So, oh, and by the way, Kangaroo and Company and the Kangaroo dies are from the spring mini catalog. We're going to start calling that the June to January or the JJ catalog. Okay. Just so you guys know. We used to call it the Occasions Catalog. Then we kind of stopped doing that. Then we started calling it the Spring Catalog. And now it's called the January to July, no, January to June Mini Catalog. So we're gonna call it the JJ Catalog. That's what Stampin' Up! is calling it. So um, we are going to, where's my, where's my card stock? Here it is. We are going to start with our card stock layers here. Oh, and I have one other thing that I want to share with you, too. Hang on just a second. Um, oh, there we go. I know what that is. I know what that is. <laughs> this paper. This is one of our free celebration offerings for the celebration season. And I want to let you guys know, just in case you missed it, celebration is usually January through March. This year it's different. It's just January and February. We're going to have it again in July. So don't forget, there's no celebration in March. Here is our beautiful Oh So Ombre. I got to make sure. Yep, Oh So Ombre 6x6 six six designer series paper. And look at how pretty this is. It is Bermuda Bay, Rococo Rose, Granny Apple Green, and Black Berry Bliss. Isn't this just gorgeous? Ombre is really popular right now. I know Andy got a sweatshirt. My One of my granddaughters got a sweatshirt for Christmas that was ombre, and it was so pretty and soft looking. Well, I'll do this later. 
Anyways, this is the paper that we're going to be using, okay? So, as usual, you guys can always find the dimensions for all of my um, projects on my blog. I don't know why. Hang on. My um, iPad quit broadcasting my Facebook Live. Maybe because I unplugged it? That shouldn't even matter, should it? Technical difficulties. Here it is. Here we go. Okay. There. Okay. Here we go. Donna says, that paper is so pretty. I know. I love it. And Dawn just got some. Hi, Anne. Welcome. Okay. So here is our piece of Bermuda Bay. And I chose that color because that's what color this is. This layer is five and a quarter by nine. This layer of designer paper is uh, two and a quarter by four. Then I've got this little piece. This is a half inch by four. And then I've got a piece of, excuse me, Whisper White. This is two and three quarters by four. And a piece of window sheet. This window sheet is, hang on, one and three eighths by four. Okay, so. Who's gonna be in charge of where this is? So, cause I know I'm gonna lose it. Like, it's so easy to lose this. I'm gonna set it on my iPad. I have leaned it up against my iPad. So if I say to you guys, what did I do with my, you're gonna tell me, right? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, first things first. We are going to bring in our paper trimmer for a little scoring. Hang on just a second. Now, my idea for this card tonight was to do with Valentine's Day, but I'll tell you a whole bunch of other ideas that I had because I couldn't get it together to, um, other ideas to use with this stamp set too. So, okay, we are going to put our card stuck in here. And again, all these measurements are going to be found on my blog. I'm just looking for my written measurements here. Okay, so we're going to score. This is the long side. So when I say score on the long side, that means you put the long side against your baseboard on your trimmer. We're going to score this at one half inch. So I'm going to move it into one half right here. And then I'm going to turn it around and go the other way. We got one half, one and a quarter. Then two, two and three quarters, three and a half, and six and a half. We're going to go way down here. Okay, now on the short side, so we're going to put the short side up here, we're going to score a half an inch from each side. So I'm going to put it in here at a half an inch. I'm going to score. And before I move my paper out of here, I know that I have to cut out up to this next score line. So rather than cut that with my scissors, it's a long strip. And it's hard to get that straight with scissors, right? I am going to take this cutting blade and I'm going to cut right up to there. So I'm just you can use your scissors or you can use your cutter. And I just chose to use my cutter because I know my line is going to be straight, right? Move your, move your cutting blade out of the way so you don't mess this up. And we're going to score it a half an inch on the other side. And we are going to cut up again to that first score line. So that's what we have right here. Now I'm going to grab my snips. And I'm going to trim this off. That one's gone. And this one's gone. Okay, now we've got all these score lines here. And we're just going to cut on each score line the little tabs on each side of this. This end tab gets cut off. And we're going to do the same thing over here. So you're going to do the same on the top as the bottom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? And again, I'm gonna cut this little bugger off. 
Okay, now we're gonna grab the window sheet and we need to score this also. And we need to score it right down the middle. And the middle is about 5 eighths of an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up in here. It's actually around three quarters. So move it to almost three quarters, but you can kind of look that it's in the center. And I am going to score, and you wanna give it some good pressure. This is our window sheets are very thick and sturdy. And that's all I've done is just scored that right down the middle. Okay, I think I'm done with this now. Okay, let me move these things out of the way so I don't get confused by them. We're gonna put this together now. Okay, we're gonna fold on all of our lines. I'm gonna grab a bone folder. And get myself a drink. Thank you for the share, Kathy, I appreciate it. You know, it's really gonna stink because now my um, video, I'm gonna have two videos, which means I can't really upload very well to YouTube. Ugh. It's maddening. Okay, before you do all of these lines, before you score all of those, we are going to, I grabbed my rectangle stitched framelit dies. And all I wanted was something that was going to um, fit on here. So you can use absolutely anything that you want as far as a die goes, or maybe even a punch. If you've got a punch that'll work, you can certainly do that. But I'm going to go in, this is my first score line. This is my second score line, and I think I'm going to cut this right here. So I'm going to center this between these two score lines, okay? And this way. I'm gonna grab some of my temporary, make sure this is straight, my temporary tape. Oh, and I see I don't have another piece. And I'm gonna bring my big boss in here. And we're going to die cut this. So I'm just gonna drop it in the machine. And die cut it. Oh, it's hard to do this at this angle. Sorry for the wiggle wiggle. That's another thing you guys that I wanna do with my um, office is when I get this other desk in here, or table, I am going to um, have my, my camera mount on the wall or on a shelf on the wall so that when I do stuff on here, you aren't wiggling around. So that'll be nice. Okay, here we go. Take this off. I use this tape over and over again. So I just stick that over there. I get this out of here, put that away. All right, so here's this. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna continue to burnish our edges on all the score lines. And of course, you wanna be careful when you fold this one over where you have the die in the middle of it because it's gonna be a little more delicate. Same with this one. Okay, we've got all of those and we got one more right there. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab my one and a half inch circle punch. Oh wait, we're gonna grab our ombre paper and add some glue to the back. And we're gonna put that right on this big flap right here. I just think this is so pretty. I love the ombre and I, heard, I saw somebody say earlier, asking if she was the only one that didn't like the ombre, and probably, oh, I'm just kidding. There's other people I'm sure that don't like it. We don't all like the same things. But I understand what you're saying. But I do like the ombre, I think it's really pretty. Okay, so then, you saw me, I just put my one and a half inch paper, or um, whole circle punch in here, and punched out a notch right here. And now I'm gonna bring in my tear and tape, and we're gonna put that, right on the edge, right here. I'm gonna put it way up at the edge. So my stomach is growling now because I ate uh, quite a bit earlier today. Steve made some steaks. Um, he's been playing with the uh, air fryer that I got this last summer. I had a pampered chef party and I got this air fryer almost free. So that was awesome, right? But we've never used it. so. 
Our Christmas party with the kids, oh, I, yeah, I can do this. Our Christmas party with the kids, we decided we're all gonna use our air fryer. So we all brought our air fryers over to Anna's house, which is where we went, and we had air fryer food, and it was fantastic. We just really had a good time. Okay, so here comes our little, this is what we're gonna do here. We're creating a little box here. Now, I wanna put something in this little box here, so, you guys where's my window sheet it's missing oh oh I think it might have just fell was that it no nope. and I told you guys I was gonna leave it up here so I wouldn't lose it and now it is I scored it and now I lost it those little buggers are so hard to see right Kelly's got more window sheets. So we're going to grab another piece. We're going to try that again. Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, holy cow. This is empty. Good Lord. Hang on. I'm going to stand up and see if I can see it at a different angle. Patience, have patience. Take a drink. Maybe you need a bathroom break. This would be a good time. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, hang on. I got more window sheets, I hope. I hope they're right here. Somewhere. I don't have any more window sheets up here, but what I do have is I've got some of this paper, and that's what we're just going to have to use, so it is what it is, right? I'm going to take, this is the envelope from my paper, I'm just going to cut this the right size that we need. And my, um, my window sheets are still downstairs in my old office. So we'll just use this. And by the time we get this done, I should find, <laughs> I should find it, right? That little piece. I told you they're really easy to lose. <laughs> yeah, it's not on my iPad anymore because I, I scored it. I did some things with it. Okay, here we go. But thank you so much for reminding me of that. All right, so the, um... The window sheet is one and three eighths by four. So we're gonna go to one and, whoops, one and three eighths. It's okay, we'll be all right. One and three eighths by four. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. I still got this in my hand, don't worry. All right, so we scored this, right? We scored this right down the middle. So all I'm gonna do with this one is just fold it in half because it's just cellophane paper instead of being a window sheet. But I think it might work just fine. <laughs> okay, so back to our project. Here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some mini glue dots and we're gonna put this little window inside this little box. So I'm gonna grab mini glue dots and I'm going to put them right around the edge of my rectangle. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Terry says she wishes I was right around the corner. She has tons of window sheets. Well, doggone it. Me too, Terry. Okay. And I'm just putting this in here because this is going to hold the window sheet, our pretend window sheet, in place. All right, so I said I was gonna be doing some Facebook Lives this week. Did I say that? I'm, I'm planning to do that. With sneak peeks, you guys, of all of the um, 
goodies that I have coming up in this new catalog. So is everybody in for that? Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, so I have folded this in half, and I know you probably can't see it, but just trust me when I say it's here. I'm going to take the folded edge, and I'm going to stick it into this piece, and again, this folded edge, so I've kind of bent them. Oops. That one's good. This one got kind of crooked, so just hang on. Ooh, these are good and sticky. Mini blue dots work really good for this. There we go. Okay. And that's exactly how you're going to put in your window sheet. Do you see that little window there? Isn't that cool? Okay, so now I am going to take my tear and tape because with boxes you should always use something that's just a little bit stronger. And I'm going to tear this off and put it on by the folded edge. So I'm getting it nice and close to the folded edge of this last little tab. See this? This is the last little tab. This is the folded edge. Thank you, Cindy. Hi, Janice. I'm really sorry. Yep, my Facebook Live ended prematurely. <laughs> I don't know why that word always makes me laugh, but it does. <laughs> it's mean. Um, that's the snarky. Okay, and here's what you do. You're just going to fold this up. So this is going to go flat like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the backing off. Maybe. And maybe not. No, I am. There we go. Take the backing off. And now we're just going to fold this down. Just like that. Okay? Look at, isn't it cute? Look at that little box. Now, the bottom of the box, we want to close that up. And we've got these little tabs. So I'm going to just take a piece of tear and tape. And I'm going to put it on this little top flap, this last flap. Oh, that was perfect. That hasn't been happening too much tonight. <laughs> okay, there we go. And we are going to seal that down. Okay, so the bottom is sealed. Now, since Valentine's Day is just around the corner, I bought some of these conversation hearts, which I love. So it was really hard for me not to eat these. But I'm like, no, Kelly, stop eating them. You need them for your project. So I stopped eating them. And I'm just going to put, oh, look, there's, that's only half. I, oh, look, here's another one broken. <laughs> I better eat those. Here comes our little heart. Oh, there's some more. Anything left over, it's, I get it. Okay, so here's our little conversation hearts. And we are going to put these. Oh, see now this one doesn't want to close up. I'm going to trim that just a little bit. If you have any problems, just... Give it a little trim. There we go. Yay. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put a glue dot on here because whoever I give this to, they're going to need to open it, right? And just one little glue dot on this little last flap right here. And I'm going to put it right about there. And that's going to hold it closed. Now, that's not going to be enough though, right? So we're gonna bring in some ribbon, and I measured the ribbon and then forgot to cut it, but you need 20 inches of ribbon or twine. So that's 12, and then up to eight is 20. Did you see the math that I did really quick there? <laughs> I know, right? I'm always amazed by it too. <laughs> and then I'm going to grab some of this twine. Now, this is White Baker's Twine and Blushing Bride Baker's Twine. But the cool thing is, is that this matches Rococo Rose, too. This comes in a combo pack, and it is part of the Snail Male Twine Combo Pack, it's called. So I'm going to grab some of the white here, and I'm just going to take a piece. And then, 
hang on because we got these cute little hearts. And does anybody see them? I know that I had them in my bin. Oh, here they are. Got these cute little hearts. These also are new in the JJ catalog. These are the heart charms, they're called. Look at how sweet they are. Little metal, they're very low profile, so they're not gonna cause any bulk. And I am just going to loop my little heart through here, just like that. And I'm just gonna set this aside for a minute. Now I'm gonna take my 20 inches. I'm gonna eat one of these because why wouldn't you? Oh, by the way, I can't remember who sent me the gourmet candy corn for Christmas, but God bless you. <laughs> I have been eating it like crazy and I even lost it for a few days in the move. And I mean, I searched up and down and all around trying to find my gourmet candy corn that's Christmas colored. And I finally found it and I was so excited I'm just gonna tie this in a little knot here. And I filled up my little candy dish and then I ate all my candy corn and now I can't find it again because I told you guys I have this weird, horrible memory. But I didn't move the candy corn, I just can't remember where I found it at. So how dumb is that? <laughs> it's a problem. Okay, so I'm just I'm just doing this. I'm putting this around here. Yeah. Oh, you know what I decided to? I was decided I was going to use a mini glue dot to hold this all in place because I struggled a little bit with this. So I'm going to take and put this right in the middle of my bottom. Yay! Hello! <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Nancy's laughing at me. It's okay. Um, we all laugh. Laugh is good for the soul, right? Okay. So yeah, but I did. I lost my gourmet candy corn for the love of Pete. This is not that difficult. Um, I lost my candy corn and I still can't find it. Like, I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. Here comes a little bow. So if you got somebody who can give you the finger, not the middle finger, but you know, the finger to hold, <laughs> preferably that one, you might want to utilize them. Okay, here we go. Whew, that was tricky. Now I keep kind of getting this over my seam. There we go. All right, let's see how many times Kelly's gonna do this. I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so it's not so wonky looking, right? Ah, I'm going to trim this off. Oh, I'm gonna grab my, my newer scissors because I know they're sharp. Boom. Just like that. And then I'm gonna bring that cutie patootie little heart in here because this is what, oh, this is what love in a card is, is when you take the time to add all these little extra things that make it extra special. Like people can really see the effort that you've put forth. And if you're giving your cards to somebody that doesn't see the effort you're putting forth when you do stuff like this, you stop giving them cards because they do not deserve them. <laughs> no, no, keep giving them cards because if you want to follow my New Year's resolution to be a more thoughtful person, I don't care if they don't see the effort in it, right? Now, who am I kidding? I am gonna care. <laughs> I'm not gonna be that thoughtful of a person. <laughs> okay, so how cute is that? Okay, you guys, so that's the gist. I'm just gonna cut that off. Here's that little hanging heart, which I think is just the cutest little thing ever. Right? Now, what are we gonna do with this? Well, let me show you. Now is where the stamping comes in. So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping, a little bit of candy eating. Because these are, oh look, there's more. Oh, they're stuck in there. Okay. So, we've got this cute little stamp set. I'm going to get out my memento. And I have a scrap of Whisper White here. This kangaroo is pretty substantial. And kangaroos can get quite large, right? My friend Lynn, thank you Lynn for the calendar, sent me a calendar of all the animals in Australia because I have a problem knowing what a marsupial is. <laughs> and that a koala is not a bear, it's a marsupial. So Lynn, Lynn didn't give me a hard time about that, but somebody did. And it was pretty funny. Okay. 
So I got my kangaroo. Now I'm going to stamp my hearts. And let's see. I'm going to find all my little bits and pieces here. I'll bet you I lost one of them. Sure I did. Because I was moving everything around trying to find my window sheet. Oh, here it is. Not my window sheet. Don't worry. That's long gone. <laughs> I got this little deal. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dies. We're going to put our kangaroo on here. Look at how cute. And then there's one for the hearts. We're going to put our hearts on here. And then we got this little one. This, I don't know what this looks like. Like a half a banana? I'm not really sure. So I'm going to just cut out one of those with nothing stamped in it, okay? So once we have that done, we are going to come up with this. And my heart's disappeared. And we've got this little thing, okay? Kelly lost her hearts. Well, lucky for us, we happen to have some hearts stamped right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a cluster. Okay, hang on. Here's my little tape. Oh, this would be a perfect time to bring in my baby boss. Here comes my baby boss. So here's the baby boss, and this is what's nice, is you can leave this right on your desk. You don't have to keep moving it out of the way because it's so little. So I've got those taped in place. I'm gonna bring my other plate in here. And I'm doing it from far away, so I can't see what's going on, so just bear with me. There we go. Is it right? No, oh, I still don't have it going here. There we go. I need to stand up and put my head in the camera, but I can't, right? Because that would be rude. <laughs> okay, here we have our hearts now. <laughs> there they are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Let me get this out of the way. And eat another candy. We're going to do a little bit of coloring. Now, our card is Bermuda, so I thought we would do our hearts in Bermuda. Um, here they are. So I bring, I'm bringing in my blends. I forgot the kangaroo die. I, I have it right here. So I got the hearts and this and then this little thing. So I think I'm good. Okay. Mm. Let's color our kangaroo first. So I've got soft suede here, and I always use the dark one first. It's how I feel comfortable with it, but you could use the lighter one first, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how that would work, but I always do it this way. So I'm just going to go around and add some dark marks because this is what's going to be my like shadowing. This is what's going to make my blends coloring look like I'm a real artist. I know I sound like a broken record, don't I, when I say that? Because I say it every time, but it's true. Like, I am not this artsy. So far, it looks pretty crummy, right? <laughs> That's okay. You'll see the magic happen. You'll be like, whoa, what is she talking about? And it'll go, wow. Maybe not. But it'll be pretty cool. Okay. So I think we're good there. Now I'm going to come in with the light soft suede. And now we're going to start the blending process. You just keep coloring over the dark until it blends in nicely with the light. Keep going, keep going. Oh my gosh, so cool, right? And now... I found that this works better if you don't, like, you don't want to color 20 or even, like, five kangaroos with the dark on the dark on each one, you know, five dark 
outlines and then come back and do this fill in because I don't know, but it's harder to blend the dark color if you leave it dry too long, I guess, is a good way to put it. So I'm just gonna keep going over it. <gasps> look at how nice that looks. Can you guys see how nice that looks once it's blended? These are truly magical. Speaking of magical, as long as I'm just coloring here, I, one of my stepdaughter Anna's friends recommended a book for me to read, and it's Nora Roberts, and it's called Year One. And it's a little bit weird. And she told me that it has kind of some magical stuff in it. And she goes, I don't know if you really like that kind of stuff. And I'm like, no, I don't know. I don't think I've really read much with magical, but I used to read like kind of some spooky stuff. So that's not really magical, but it's more like creepy evil. So <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but anyways, I'm like, yeah, I'll read it. So it's called Year One, and it's the craziest thing. It's about this horrible pandemic that like really wipes out a lot of the world and how people restart or re, you know, they're restarting the whole world basically. And they've got some magical people in there. They call them the Uncannies. Has anybody read that book? <laughs> the Uncannies. And I don't even know why I got off on a tangent over that. So that's rather interesting, isn't it? Oh, because I said magical. <laughs> See? <laughs> that's where my mind goes. Because I said that the blends are magical. And then I that made me think. And I, but I'm not really quite sure why. Well, let's get this other little hand here. Not really quite sure why. In the book, Nora Roberts is a, you know, a United States citizen author. I'm not really sure why she spells magical, M-A-G-I-K-A-L, I think, instead of magical, M-I-G-I-C-A-L. I just thought that was weird. Does anybody know why? <gasps> Nora Roberts lives in a town next to you. Shut up. That's so cool, Jean. That's really awesome. Yeah, she's a good author. Okay, so I just used the light Rococo Rose for the inside of the ear, and you can clearly see that that's like really pink. I'm like, ugh, I don't like that at all, right? So I am going to take the color lifter and just keep going over it until it's a tone that I like. And now look at it. See how much difference that makes? It's pretty cool, right? Okay. So, next, I'm looking for the first card that I made because I can't even find that right now. Oh, maybe that's it. Nope. Huh. I'll have another heart. Okay, we got that. Now, we're going to take the Bermuda Bay. I'm going to use the dark one on the hearts. And I'm just going to put all of my, like, I don't know, contrast, shading, whatever you want to call it, around the bottom of the heart. And you'd think, this is such a small area. Like, what difference does it really going to make, Kelly? Well, it is going to make a difference. You just wait and see. It's going to be amazing! Okay. Here comes light Bermuda. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys, most of you found me again. I'm so sorry that I messed up. I don't know what I hit, but I told it to cancel so that I wouldn't quit my first Facebook Live that I started. And I told it to cancel and it didn't. It just kept going. I think Mark Zuckerberg hates me. <laughs> I know hate is a really strong word, but I don't have a lot of love for him. <laughs> Now I'll probably get put in Facebook jail. <laughs> Anyways, so just keep coloring these until they blend nicely. And when I was coloring my other one, I thought the in the the little pieces that are in between these hearts, I was trying to leave them white. And then I'm like, oh my lord, Kelly, just color over them. You don't need that kind of grief in your life. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we've got our cute little kangaroo. Now, this little deal, this little thing, 
that we cut out with the die goes with this little die. Watch this. This is super cute. Uh, Bermuda Bay ink. I'm going to take the little tiny stamp that says love you much. And I'm going to stamp that. I might have to get my head right in the camera here. Hang on. Right on that little piece. Isn't that cute? Look how cute it is. It's so tiny and dainty and very cute. Okay. This is where it's really cool. So you're going to take this little thing. And when you die cut your kangaroo, it die cuts a little slit in the pouch back here. Right? Ah! So you're going to do that. And then we're going to bring our hearts in. Now, you want to make sure that your hearts are high enough so that they don't interfere with being able to read your message in here, right? So I'm thinking that I need to put a tiny little piece of dimensional. So I'm going to get my baby dimensionals here and I'm going to cut out just a little sliver. See that? See that little sliver? I'm going to cut out that little sliver and I'm going to put that right up at the top of the little pouch panel. And this is going to stop your little message from going all the way in. And then you want to make sure that you keep these way at the top so that when you pull this out, you can still read the love you much. So you want to make sure you stamp that as low as you can. Look how cute that is. What do you guys think? Ah. So adorable. So there's our little kangaroo and now we're going to take this and we are going to put our kangaroo and I'm trying to find the other one that I made you guys so just hang, hang tight here for a second because I don't know if it fell on the floor why am I having so many problems tonight like this doesn't even make sense I have been a good girl <laughs> I was not naughty to attach it with some dimensionals. I've got some regular dimensionals here. Do one here. And don't, don't put anything around this mechanism that goes in and out, okay? You don't want to mess that up. So make sure that you don't have any dimensionals that are going to interfere with that. I'll put one more down here and then I'm going to grab my babies. And one right here on the tail. Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll. If you don't have a take your pick tool, you need one. I'm telling you, they're awesome. Here we go. Oh, make sure you don't get any dimensionals that's going to mess with that little pocket too. Much. Isn't that the sweetest little thing? Yeah, it is. Okay, so then I have an Amazon gift card. So my idea with this was to do a Bermuda Bay Valentine for a boy because the other one that I made, hang on a second, this has a score line in it, by the way, so you can push this back a little bit. The other one that I made is pink. <laughs> oh, damn it. I just can't find it. I don't know what is going on. Like, oh, here it is. <laughs> Look at this one. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite? This is Rococo Rose, and I use Rococo Rose. Look at how cute that is. It's so stinking adorable. And then, so my idea, oh, we got one more thing to do. Hang on. 
because I couldn't find my sample. I have no idea what I'm doing, even though I just made it a couple hours ago. <laughs> pink, Joanne likes the pink one. Gail likes the pink one. Here's a happy Valentine's Day. This is from, I just grabbed this from my meant to be stamp set. Okay, happy Valentine's Day. And then, Wait, there's more. Got a little ahead of myself because I was flustered because I couldn't find my pink one. Good goodness. And then this little strip, this was just a little scrap and I cut a half inch strip. This is going to go right here to dress this up just a little bit because what are you going to do with these little strips nothing you're going to throw them away by golly they look smashing right there don't they i did the same thing on this one isn't that stinking adorable yeah donna says she likes the pink one joanne says both are adorable elaine says bermuda Right. I'm going to give these to Molly and probably Porter. Stinking adorable. I love them. Okay. So, let's see. I think what I'm going to do, you guys, don't forget, I always forget to say this. Here's my current host code. If you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me paying my bills. <laughs> So that's always awesome, right? Um, here is my website. This is my blog. When you go there, you're going to find an online ordering button. When you place an order, you can use this as your host code. Don't use the code if it's over $150, though, if your order is, because you're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I want you to have them. Also, don't forget, you can get this ombre paper or anything else in the celebration brochure for free with your $50 order. Oh, I can't show you the inside of this yet. This doesn't start until January 5th, which is Tuesday. Tuesday is the big day, celebration starts. Also, Tuesday is the first day you can order out of the JJ catalog. See, January through June, the JJ catalog. You can order out of that starting on Tuesday also. Once Tuesday comes, I'm gonna be able to show you the insides of these because I almost just flipped right through this and oh my Lord, I would have gotten so much trouble. So, Tuesday's the big day. Always appreciate your orders. And you'll find all, you'll find photographs and all the dimensions and then all of the ingredients that I use on my blog. I always like to do that for you guys so you have a place to reference. I've been getting a lot of questions from people saying, hey Kelly, um, I saw those calendars that you made when you made them, but now I can't seem to find that video. All you need to do is go to my blog and scroll through until you see pictures of the project that you're looking for, then you'll find all the, um, you'll find all the dimensions, you'll find all the ingredients, which tells you, you know, there are links to my store so you can buy the ink and buy the paper, but more than that, it tells you which colors I used. In case you already have all that stuff, you can go through and go, oh, that's Rococo Rose, not Blushing Bride, you know? That's always nice. But, um, yeah, I thought these were stinking adorable. So, I told you I was going to tell you my other ideas. So, I did start stamping some other things here. Oh, let's look at all my fails. So, this was a fail. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, oh, let's use that label punch. That didn't work out really good, you guys. So um, that didn't work out so much. And then here was one that came together pretty good, but it just something was wrong with my measurements. It didn't fit in here good. And then this edge didn't work good to fold. That looked horrible. And then um, this one was, oops, hang on. I just got that annoyed. This one was... Um, pretty okay but again I didn't like this edge this edge was weird and it looks crappy and so I scrapped that this is the one I had to tear this part a couple times because I couldn't get it right then I decided just to put that window sheet in here folded like that so it's just folded in half I was trying to kind of build a box and that was too much 
So if you just fold it in half, and look at, this was that packaging off the 12 by 12 paper. So isn't that funny? It's doing just fine. Anywho, these were all my, these were all my fails. This is sometimes how things come together or don't, <laughs> right? Holy cow. Anyway, some of my other ideas with this cute little kangaroo and company. So you've got the presents. So I wanted to make more of these, but I just didn't before it was time for me to go on. You've got these presents. So instead of the hearts right here, you would die cut these. There's a die for it. Color these in and you would be using the presents. So that's great. There's also these cute little party hats. Those are fabulous to put on your kangaroos. And then we've got this little Joey that you can also put him on one of these and that goes in and out of the little kangaroo pouch. So not only do we have Valentine's Day or just love, we've got some flowers, so thanks a bunch. Here's a bunch of flowers and the flowers can go in and out of the little pouch, but also the Hello Baby and here's the baby, so this would be a nice baby card. And just a fun, any type of card, because we've got hopping by just to say hi, happy for you, it's your day, well that would be birthday. There's a little butterfly, a little heart, super duper cute. Oh, that little heart is really stinking cute, isn't it? I should have put that. Oh, looky here. I can do it. I'm going to take my Bermuda bag. And let's see if I can do this without wrecking it, huh? I'm going to put that right there. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So, oh, <laughs> I just bent my... <laughs> oh, have you ever had one of those days where you feel like, oh, you should just go to bed? I really did have a pretty good day. This morning we went over to Anna and Scott's house and we... um. I made breakfast for all the kids. Scott made bacon and I made the French toast. And we had, gosh, we had Stephanie's got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 people there this morning for breakfast. It was delightful. Um. Oh wait, what did she just say? Oh, my comments just went away. Renee said you could also put that extra stamped piece on a dimensional on the outside of the kangaroo belly. Yeah, you sure could. Absolutely you could. Yep, and I think the whole kind of charm of this is to have that little, little pouch and that stinking adorable. I love it. It's it's just really cute. I really like it. Okay, now I wanted to show you guys some of my mail. Are you up for some of my mail? What time is it? It's 8.30. I'm going to just grab some of it. Oh my gosh, how am I going to show this to you though? I'm going to have to turn my camera back around and that sometimes can cause problems, like Facebook won't work right. It's kind of weird that way. Do I have any candy left? Ooh, I do. Let me grab some mail. I got a lot of mail to share, so. I'm just gonna share a few things tonight, okay? And then as I do my Facebook Lives throughout the week, because I'm going to be back this week, I want to share some of this new stuff with you. I will show you more mail. Okay, I'm going to swing you around now. Let's hope I don't hit something wrong like I did when I did it before. There we go. Okay. Yay. All right. Look at this. I got this from Mary Lynn, and it's that die. I can't remember what it's called, but that diamond something where she like actually I think made this. I'm pretty sure she did. But anyways, I thought it was really pretty. I'm gonna keep all my gifts in here so that I can remember who got me what because you know I can't. <laughs> so Mary Lynn, thank you very much. It is beautiful. Next thing I wanted to share with you is um, Kareen Mariki is from Hawaii and she started out, she ordered from me a couple times and then joined my team. And so I have a team member in Hawaii and I think that's really cool. I opened up this box and in it is this amazing, and I'm talking amazing photo album that she made for me. And look at this. What she did is she went through my Facebook page 
and she took all of these, I can stand up so I can see, all of these photos off of my Facebook and it just keeps going and opening and doing all the things. Whoops, let me get it up here. It is the most incredible album ever and I just can't even imagine how much time she spent making this beautiful album for me. It's like a whole year in review and you guys know I post a lot of stuff, right? Look how cool this is. And that's got a magnet in it. This is just crazy. Oh, and here there's little pockets. Look at that. There's me and Val. Here's me with some flowers. I got a lot of flowers this year. I, I was very blessed. Like, I know 2020 was crap for all of us, but it was a pretty good year, I have to say. For me personally. Look at, I made my million. How cool is that? Look at this. Oh, look at Steve. Ha! <laughs> There's me and Steve. We were at an airport someplace in these pictures. I like to do Snapchat filters because they're goofy. There's, we're at Haley's wedding here. But look at Haley's graduation from college. It's just crazy amazing. There's Molly with Val. There's me and my mom. I was sick. Can you see that? I was sick. And I was like, Mom, I'm so sick. And she's like, I know, honey. <laughs> so very, very cool. This is just amazing. Oh, and there's more. Oh, look at Here's one of my Snapchat filters. Snapchat filters make you look really good. <laughs> they take all the discoloration, the blemishes, and a lot of the wrinkles out. Oh, hang on, I gotta get this back in here so I don't mess this up. Anywho, there's a gazillion. Look, here we are. This was in, uh, I think, Honduras or Belize or someplace. Yeah, we were on vacation. But the work that went into this is just crazy. It is absolutely crazy. I looked through all of it, and not even that. But she also sent me all the leftover pictures. Look at, look at all these pictures. Like, the effort and the work that went into this was just so sweet. And Kareen, I just don't even, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, it actually brought tears to my eyes that somebody would go to that length to make something so special for me. Right? It was crazy. And I love it. And I'm touched beyond belief. Next up, we have this cutie patootie. This was on the package that I opened. And one of my team members, Anne D'Aquisto, she um, gave me this present, told me not to open it until Christmas. So I didn't. But here's her beautiful Christmas card. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And she says, oh, first of all, she says, please don't think I'm a stalker. All the photos were from Facebook. Hope you like. <laughs> she says, Kelly, you are such an inspiration. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. So, are you ready for this? This is crazy too. Hang on, let me pull up my pants. Because they're kind of funny. <laughs> I just about, like, died when I saw this. Look at this. Is this not the coolest thing ever? She had this blanket made. And again, oops, I can't see what I'm showing you and what I'm not showing you. All of these photos are from Facebook. And that's where we, we were talking about it at Christmas. We as a family... That's where we go get our pictures, the pictures that I use to make like that sampler for um, for Molly or for Anna. That's where I get those pictures is from Facebook because those you, you post your best pictures on Facebook, right? 
Yeah, so this is the blanket that Anne gave me for Christmas. And I was just like, are you kidding me? This is just incredible. Okay, I think that I need to go eat. I'm having a hot flash again. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys, in case you missed my crazy pants. Aren't these wild? I love them. They're so soft. <laughs> That's what I was pulling up because they're, you know, leggings and they're kind of falling down. Anyways, um, I will show you more mail in the coming week. I do plan on doing some Facebook Lives and getting myself together. Please don't forget to let me know uh, if you have any suggestions for my online classes. I'm going to be planning those pretty soon. Oh, Faylene May says, love your shoes. These are actually slippers, and I love them too. I feel like a little Eskimo, right? <laughs> and they keep my feet warm. Yeah, I got really thick socks on too. I have very cold feet. It's weird. I know, it sounds like I have a lot of issues. I always thought it was pretty low maintenance, but maybe that's changing. <laughs> oh well. All right, you guys, don't forget to share my video. I always appreciate that. Leave a comment if you haven't yet so you can get entered in a drawing. Sharing, you get a drawing. Also placing an order with me. I always appreciate your orders. Celebration starts on Tuesday. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, if you join my team during celebration, so that would be January 5th, February 28th, you will get five packs of our new In Color Designer Series paper, six by six. Nobody can get their hands on this until the new catalog, the big catalog, comes out in like May or June. But you can get it. You'll get it. And that's worth 60 some dollars, just the paper, to join my team. Become a discount shopper. So, um, are you going to give us a heads up about the videos? Well, that's a really good question, and I have to kind of figure out my schedule. Sometimes I do things on the fly because it's like, oh, I don't have to do anything else for at least an hour. I can quick do a video or something. Um, I'll see if I can come up with some type of a schedule. I don't want to interfere with my friends who are also Stamping Up demonstrators who have Facebook Lives. Um, I, you know, I just... So I might be doing them during the day, but they will all be available for replay, but I don't know yet. So we'll see. Um, that's a good question. Thank you for asking. I'm just looking at some of your comments here. Have a good week. You guys have a good week too. And I, like I said, I hope to see you several times this week. I have a lot of swap cards to share with you and some pretty darn good ideas. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, Joanne says, do a class with the sand and sea. I know, that is so beautiful, isn't it? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe that'll be my kit class. We'll see. All right, bye. Hi, Connie. I see you're on, Diane. All right, cute leggings. Thank you. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye.